Hey guys, Kirk from Acid Bite here. And today in this tutorial, I want to explain to you guys how to use our pre-built textile transitions in DaVinci Resolve. Um, we have uh, separate tutorials for the toolkit that you'll find in this pack and also the pre-built transitions for Premiere and Final Cut Pro, but this one is just gonna be focused on DaVinci. So as you can see, I've already got a project set up here with two clips in it. Uh, I am working in 4K this time, um, but any resolution would be fine because DaVinci is a great program and it will automatically scale and size all the footages correctly. So no worries there. So when you download this pack from us, you're gonna get a folder structure that looks like this. You've got this assets folder, which has the toolkit and this has tons of uh, overlays and different textures. And you've also got the pre-built transitions. This is the one for DaVinci Resolve. Um, but the first thing that we want to do is grab that toolkit folder and drag it right into your master folder because this is going to import all the footage that we need for the transition. And then I'm going to create a new bin here in my uh, toolkit folder and I'm going to call this one pre-built. So then I'm going to go back to the folder that you get with the download, go into my pre-builds and open up the DaVinci Resolve one and grab all of those transitions and drag them straight into your new bin. So you can see that all the transitions have been imported over here and if we open one up you'll see all of those footages and uh, layer structures that we created. Now because we're creating these on a different computer than the one you're currently working on, there is a chance that DaVinci will have trouble uh, linking some of the files. If that happens, you just need to tell it to look in the folder that we were in just a minute ago that you get when you download with all those assets, and that'll fix it. So, using these transitions is actually super easy, guys. Everything's already here laid out in the cor correct uh, layer structure. All you gotta do is choose the one that you want and then select all of them and copy with, you know, Command C or Control C. And then once you copied it, we're gonna go back into our original timeline and I'm gonna just paste that straight in. And the important thing to do is check that this frame, the one on your video two layer, which is gonna be called transition seven frame for this one, is lined up to the end of your first clip. That's important. And then I'm gonna grab my second shot and drag it up a few layers, put it above the transition seven frame. So we're making a little sandwich, right? Our first shot, then the transition, then the second shot. So from here, there's just one last little step. You wanna have your second shot, your piece of footage selected, and then you wanna come over to your settings and come all the way down to composite mode, and we wanna go and change that to foreground. And once you've changed it to foreground, then the transition is gonna to be totally complete. And that's it guys, uh, there's no more work that needs to be done. Just make sure that you put your shots in the right layers. Um, don't forget to change that composite mode to foreground and it's that easy. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for downloading and I will talk to you next time.